Hi everybody, it's Chris Viber, the director of the National House of Prayer, coming to you today from the leadership dinner that's connected to the National Prayer Breakfast. And we're here today with my friend Gary Mason and his son David, and they're from Medicine Hat. I wanted to talk to Gary about some really interesting things that's happening out West, especially in the area of city prayer. Something that happened this year, and that's something that's happened last year and this year. Yeah. Very, very significant. And again, the importance of cities praying together, churches praying together, and what God is doing across the nation, not just in certain spots, but those that are engaging, God is breaking out and doing amazing things. So Gary, can you tell us what happened last year in, sure. in Medicine Hat? Well, last year, uh, this really started, and, and if you think about this, this really started, Chris, over probably 30, 40 years ago, is it from what I, my research is like, yeah. But what's happened is there's been this heart of prayer that has come amongst the preachers and everything. And last year, one of our one of our other groups in town, it's a YWAM base. Yeah. They are a prayer house. Yeah. So they had it in their heart to help lead our city yeah. with a 40 days of prayer and worship. Fantastic. And so we did 24-7. Yeah. And now our city is only around 70,000 people. In yeah. So when you think about that, there isn't a church large enough that could do that. Yeah. It took all of the churches coming together. Did you hear that? It, all of the churches coming all together. All of the churches. There I were, love it. There were church teams, worship teams, but yeah. then there were lots of individuals because 24-7, yeah. we were we were just signing up 24-7. Yeah. So you get somebody from 1 to 2 in the morning, another person from 2 to 3 in the morning. Yeah. And, and so they were just coming and praying and worshiping yeah. and all of that. Last year, for 40 days, we did that. Yeah. And, and, our, and the focus was really worship yeah. with an added prayer element. Yeah. And so then uh, over the next course, of, there was a lot of people saying, what do we need to do? What do we need to do now? And, and, and a lot of us just said, wait, let's just see what the Lord will do with this. And a few months later, we began to see people being born again, coming in more and more baptisms and salvations and things. And uh, some of our churches have had some significant growth. Yeah. Our own churches yeah. pretty much doubled in, in about Fantastic. three to four months. And mostly new believers. And new people from out of town, yeah. other people who were sitting at home and weren't going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Some people. So we had got it. It's quite a mess, yeah. actually. Wonderful. And so, uh, and, but what is not what's not happening is yeah. a lot of church uh, just transfer transfers. Transfers. Yeah. So that's the really great part of that. That's good. And so we're seeing all of that. And then this year it was really in our heart again as a city. Yeah. Twenty one days yeah. of prayer and fasting. Brilliant. So this was more of a prayer and fasting yeah. uh, focus rather than the worship. There's still some worship with it. Yeah. So a few groups here and there and some rallies throughout the, the 21 days, and we just finished it. Yeah. And so here's the thing is yeah. we're all just looking and saying, what is God going to do this year? That's good. So one of the things that was so powerful about it was young, old, different people, yeah. uh, different groups. This year with our prayer and fasting, there were times you'd walk in the room yeah. and somebody would be scheduled. They'd bring a group. Yeah. And... And then all of a sudden, you'd see another group would form and another group would form. There were times we had three or four different groups from different churches just yeah. praying. Yeah. Then you'd have one that would come in and they'd be from a mainline church. Yeah. And they're pretty somber. They're, yeah. And, you know, very uh, conservative. Uh, conservative yeah. in their manner and everything. Yeah. And then the next group that would come, uh, you know, maybe immigrants or yeah. maybe young people or whatever yeah. and they were loud and, and yeah. so for an hour you'd have one very conservative and then the next hour it was very uh, upbeat and lively a complete and expression so, of the body of christ absolutely because we're not all the we're not all eyeballs we're not all thumbs some of us are all thumbs but it's, it's we're all a part of the body and every part of the body is a different expression yeah. and that's what's so expensive yeah. so 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 anyway i'm chris byberg this is david and gary my uh gary mason from medicine hat and uh we will see you next time bye for now bye for now.